Colorado. Today we're going to go over an inventory unit. Um, this trailer does currently have money on it, but it's going through financing, so there's always a potential this trailer will come available. But this is a 2022 Logan Coach three horse gooseneck with a really slick uh, closet tack setup on it. So we'll kind of walk around this trailer and show you guys some features on this trailer. We have this trailer, we have a four horse just like it sitting here. Um, we do have some options actually here on our lot for you guys as of late. It's kind of been the course of the year. We haven't had much to show you guys, but we do have some trailers available. So if you're curious and looking for something and we typically don't have something, now's the time to come check us out. Anyway, the closet tack setup gives you a really cool setup for two reasons. The first reason being that you get to keep all your saddles, all your blankets and stuff separate from your inside area. And the second reason is that you get so much more storage capability just because you're not crawling over your tack that you're normally going to be pulling in and out of this trailer. It all stays in that one tack room. All your totes and clothes and whatever you have in the front is separate. That way you're not tripping over one or another if you need something. If you pull over on the side of the road and you need to saddle horses, you're not pulling, you know, reins over totes that are full of clothes, full of feet and stuff like that. You're just opening one door. Everything's nice and organized. It just makes it easier for you guys to travel. But up here in this front tack dressing room area, Again, you can keep saddles and bridles and stuff in here. We didn't really set it up for that. We set this more up as if you want to throw a mattress in here, you can sleep in here. You can open the windows and get a nice airflow. It is fully carpeted, so it is comfortable for you guys. We do have LED lighting up there in the nose, as well on the wall over here behind me. And we you guys do have some light in here if you're stopped, need to change, get ready for the show or rodeo, whatever that may be. But again, this closet tack just gives it so much versatility because you have a place to change and get ready that's not with your saddles. You can you know, hang clothes in here, you can do whatever you need to do in here, keep feed, keep grain and stuff out of the way of the back of the horses and your tack, which just kind of keeps stuff organized for you guys, which is really, really efficient while you guys are traveling. And you'll notice as we walk around this trailer, I talk about the Vortex lining Logan Coach does a lot of times. Um, you'll notice pretty much any steel on this trailer, which what, that's what Logan's are, they're a steel frame aluminum skin trailer. So any steel framing or any place that something could possibly rub on this trailer, it's going to be vortex lined. So if you look at the support braces, it's vortex lined. This back wall right here is vortex lined. And what that does is just help protect this trailer from anything rubbing, scratching, dinging. And it helps all the steel frame not rust as well. It is a galvanized steel frame, so it's already got that going forward as far as fighting against the rust. And then when they vortex line it, I mean, it really, really just protects this steel. And it's really easy to repair as well. So as we walk around this trailer, just keep in mind, any black you see is just Logan taking that extra mile to keep your guys' trailer, you know, nice and neat for years to come. Then moving here to the closet tack kind of behind this front tack room, this is where you're going to be keeping all your tack, your saddles, your blankets, your bridles and stuff like that. Again, it's really nice to eat it. You're able to keep it separate, but the first thing you'll notice is this is a swing out saddle rack. It's a three horse, so we have three tiers there. We can get you guys a fourth if that's something you guys wanted, or you could just move one lower if you wanted a lower saddle. But this swing out, it runs on a gas piston. You can see how easy it swings in and out. You pretty much get it going and it does it for you. Um, again, it's really nice you don't have to climb in and out of a trailer and drag stuff out of the trailer, especially for some older folk. They really, really love the swing out tax we've been doing. The cool thing about it is, is it does give you the option to store some more stuff as well, because in a typical tack room, you're going to be hard mounted to the back of this tack room. You're not really going to be able to slide anything under there. But the way it's set up in this three horse, you can swing them saddle racks out of the way, keep a grain tote in here, keep you know a boot box in here, whatever you need to do to keep your stuff organized, it's just going to allow you to do so. But behind this swing out up high, you will notice there are bridle hooks around the whole rim of this trailer. It is carpeted behind those bridle hooks, kind of for the same concept that we use the Vortex for. That carpeting is really going to protect this trailer, but on top of that, it's also going to protect your, you know, your head stalls and bridles and stuff like that. Some of them can get pretty pricey with the conchos they got on them. And again, that carpet is going to keep them from getting scratched up and keep them from scratching your trailer up, which is just going the extra mile. Right there, you'll kind of see there's a hose right there, and that hose is for the water tank on this trailer. Over here in the corner, Behind where this saddle rack swings out, there is a 35 gallon water tank. I can't stress enough how important it is to keep a water tank on your trailer. Um, I know a lot of people think they don't need them because they're traveling. You get somewhere, there's a hydrant. Um, a lot of times you're traveling long distances. Nowadays, you have more trouble finding a gas station that's going to let you use their water or a gas station that even has easy access to water for your horses. So by having this tank, you always are going to have fresh water for you know not only your horses, but maybe some dogs you're traveling with or you if you possibly need it. And just it always eases the stress a little bit knowing you have that much fresh water for your horses. And again, some horses don't like drinking water when they get where they're going. They, they're used to their water at home. It takes them a while to switch up and get used to water at a different place. So you're always going to have your water from home if your horses don't like the water where you end up showing up. 
Here on the door of this trailer, we do have a swing out blanket bar as well. I really like Logan's swing out blanket bars, and the reason I do is because they're kind of wider. It's really easy to slip blankets on and off, but a lot of times if you've had a trailer where that blanket bar doesn't swing out and it's just hard fixed up against something, you pretty much, if you don't start at the bottom and work your way up, and even if you do start at the bottom and work your way up, by the time you get to this third rack, it is so hard to get your blankets on there because they're all mushed against each other. You can't hardly slide them in. You can't keep stuff organized and nice. Um, but with this setup, you can easily get, you know, four sets of blankets and pads on here and then push it over against the wall where they're going to hold tight while you're traveling. So again, you're not going to show up and get to where you're going. There's not going to be blankets on the ground where you're going to have to rehang them over here. And this does hard fasten against here with a clip. That way you get where you're going. Your saddles are where they're at, your blankets are where they're at, and you're not having to pick up your trailer before you saddle. Everything's just ready to go. Below that uh, blanket bar, it is a brush tray, spray tray, whatever you want to call it. Um, again, organizing your mane and tails, your brushes, stuff like that. It is a drainable tray, which I like. So there is a marine grade carpet in the bottom of here that is removable. So if you ever have anything spill, you know, freeze and blow up in there, it is gonna get this web. You can take this out, clean it. You can spray this out and it is drained in all four corners. So it will drain for you guys pretty easy. Again, Logan really likes to just take that extra step and keep your stuff organized and clean and just make it easier for you guys. Here on the hip wall, it's pretty standard. You know, you do have your Logan bus type windows. Above that, we do have a spotlight right here. Again, if you want to saddle right here, which you most likely probably will be saddling off this side 95% of the time, just because all your tack is right there. It's really easy to pull your tack right off that door and saddle a horse right here underneath the light, whether it be early morning or late night. Down here at the bottom, we do have these nice looking aluminum wheels. On top of that, we do these tires are nitrogen filled. You'll notice the green cap on all the tires around this trailer. Um, we fill these tires with nitrogen just because a lot of states, Colorado being one of the main ones, it's going to be really, really cold this morning. It's going to be probably 60s this afternoon. So in a normal aired up tire that doesn't have nitrogen, that PSI is going to fluctuate to the point where you're going to have to either be dumping air out or adding air in all the time. What that nitrogen does is it just helps keep that PSI balanced off in those tires so you're not having to air them up and deflate them all the time. But even if you do get a flat or something like that and you don't have access to nitrogen, you can always just put regular air in there and that'll work just fine as well. Here on the load side of the trailer, again, you'll notice all the vortex lining on this trailer. The whole back door is vortex lined. We've got a horse that likes to paw kick or something like that. They're just tearing up his vortex. They're not tearing up the actual framing. It's really easy to repair for you guys. But up top, you will notice there is another spotlight up top. Again, just giving you guys enough light that if you're jumping horses on and off this trailer, it's keeping you and your horses safe. The floor in this Logan trailer, it is an aluminum. This is called their whiz-proof flooring. And what it is, it's their aluminum floor that they've engineered to drain. Um, you'll see that it's slatted and angled for any urine, water, anything like that. It'll drain right through the floor of this trailer. There's also another product that they call Polylast that they'll put on top of that. And what it is, it's a permanent porous rubber. I'm sure most of you guys have seen it. Um, and they typically put that in combo with this aluminum floor. So if you wanted to upgrade this trailer and put Polylast on it, you will never have to worry about anything happening to this floor. You'll pretty much have the best flooring product on the market. But it is set up with rubber mats on top of that, so it's really easy to clean. You can pull these mats out, power wash it out, and then you don't even have to worry about drying it because all that water is just going to run through the floor of this trailer. The thing I really like about Logan trailers is their dividers. They do have a really slick latching mechanism. Um, but again, going the extra mile, typically you want to have a telescope and divider in the back of this trailer. But if you wanted to haul a four-wheeler or a UTV or something like that and this wasn't telescoping, there's no way you could do so and keep your back doors closed. So this is a telescope and divider, which allows us to slide that in, pin it over here against the wall, and again, be able to hold your dividers against the wall while you load UTVs, ATVs. That way you're not having to take the dividers all the way out of this trailer if you're wanting to haul something besides horses. Um, I talked about the latch mechanism, how much I like it. It's really easy. It's got a full handle on it if you want to open them to unload horses. And it's pretty much a slam gate if you want to close your horses in. And I really like that because some horses, you get them in, and if you don't have that gate closed within you know, two to five seconds, they're already backing out because they get stressed. They want out of the trailer as much as you want them out of the trailer. So it's really easy to slam that shut and keep your horse confined in there, and then they settle down a little bit. But again, both these dividers will latch over here against the wall. You can efficiently haul, you know, a UTV, a couple four-wheelers, snowmobiles, whatever you want in this trailer. But here at the front, I can kind of point it out more so than I could have in the dividers. 
There are D-rings in all of these three stalls to tie hay bags in. Again, I'll talk about their drop windows and how efficient that makes feeding your horses with these feed bags I'm talking about. But this trailer doesn't come with them standard. We can always get them for you guys here. If you have a trailer at home you want them for, we can get them for you. But each stall is going to have D-rings in it. You can easily buy any corner feed bag and clip it right in this trailer and go feeding and traveling down the road super easy. Up here on the roof, each stall in this Logan trailer is going to have a two-way air vent. What those air vents do, you can set them up to either pull air into this trailer or pull air out. That way if you open a couple to pull in, open your back one to pull air out, you're getting fresh, you know, cold, cool air flowing over the backs of your horses in the summer, or you can just close them up and keep that heat in here for your horses in the winter. Over here on the hip wall of this trailer, again, there's those sliding type windows. So they'll have a lock on each one of these windows. You can lock them to where they won't slide, or you can lock them to their or where they will slide, you can operate them from the outside, inside, whatever you want to do. So again, maximizing your airflow options for your horses so you kind of balance that temperature off for your horses. But you will notice they are jail barred across these windows, which if you've seen a trailer after a couple years, your horse is going to get a tail head through a window and probably rip some screens out. Um, it just happens hauling horses, but by jail barring it, it's just going to probably prevent that for a little bit longer just because it's going to help deflect their tail head away from this window most of the time. I'm not going to tell you it's not going to happen, but it is going to help prevent that a little bit. We do have LED lights. It's the same LED lights that we're running in the tack area of this trailer. So you'll have enough light that you can control from outside the trailer for these horses that if you're loading them, want to check on them while you're traveling and stuff, you can flick a switch right there by our camera guy and all these lights will turn up. They also have a switch individually on each one of these lights. So if you don't want all three on while you're traveling, but you just want one to maybe get just a little light in here to see what's going on, but you want to over light up for your horses, you can manually run each one of these lights off a switch on them as well, which I think is really handy. Moving around to the head side of this trailer, I have all the windows up just so I can show you guys how easy these windows operate. If you get to where you're going and you need to, for example, feed your horses, check on your horses, anything like that, Logan has a really slick latch mechanism you just pull down and all your windows drop. They're really heavy duty windows, you're not going to hurt them. And there you go, you have airflow for your horses while you're traveling. If you need to, if it rains or something like that and start training while you're traveling, they're just as easy to get folded up and latched. If you need to pull over and hurry and latch these doors, you can do it in about five seconds. Or if you need to pull over, you had to slam on your brakes, someone cut you off and you want to check on your horses, it's really easy to drop all your middle windows out just as quick, be able to check your horses, feed your horses, whatever you want to do. The window system Logan uses is just a really slick system. And the reason I like it is because if you are a shorter person and you have a hard time, like for example, reaching a latch at the top of these windows, the side of the windows, it's going to be really hard for you to drop windows without climbing up on that rail. But with Logan trailers, as long as you can reach this bar in the middle, you're not pulling out, you're just pulling down, and you can drop those windows. Same thing for your middle jail bars. If you can reach that middle bar and pull down, you can easily drop all your windows on this trailer. So it's a really, really cool setup Logan does on their drop windows. Another thing I like about it is that this trailer is being 610 wide. It does give you a running board to step on. So if you are feeding your horses with those feed bags like I was talking about, you can easily drop those windows, come up here on the rail, Feed your horses, grain your horses, see if they ate, check on them, just make sure everything's fine for your horses while you're traveling. Again, there's also a spotlight up top again on this side. 90% of the time you're probably going to be saddling off the other side, but if for some reason there's shade on this side and you're wanting to shade your horses or it's a cold morning like this morning and you want some sun on this side of the trailer for you and your horses, you can always turn that light on, saddle out here in early morning, get maybe some uh, sunrise sun on you on this side of the trailer. This trailer is a white color. Logan offers, you know, a lot of white colors, a lot of gray colors, um, a lot of off-gray metallic colors. So they do have some options for colors for you guys. But you'll notice again, you look under the nose of this trailer, that Vortex lining product, they like to put it anywhere where there's going to be dents, dings, anything like that. So right here, the whole underside of this nose of this trailer is Vortex lined. Again, you're traveling, you're probably kicking up rocks, dirt, dust, stuff like that underneath the nose of this trailer. And it's going to ding up that vortex, but it's not going to ding up the actual metal on this trailer, which I think is real cool that Logan does. So, for, for example, if you do get a rock chip this vortex or something like that, you can easily repair that with a rattle can, a, you know, rhino lining, vortex lining, anything like that, versus replacing a whole sheet of metal on this trailer, which is just really efficient. It does come with a standard manual jack. It is a hand crank jack. The thing I want to point out is really cool that we do. Um, 
This is a matching wheel to the rest of the tires on this trailer. If you have a blowout, a flat, or something like that, and you need to change a tire, you're not going to be rolling out on a non-matching wheel. You're not going to be traveling on a donut. This is a same matching tire and a matching, you know, nice looking aluminum wheel like the rest of the trailer. So for some reason you do need to change a tire, your trailer's not going to be looking wonky while you're traveling to them shows, rodeos, whatever it may be. And then again, hooked onto this trailer right here, we do have your standard safety chains, your breakaway cables, and then your bulldog coupler. And again, you'll just notice the whole nose of this is Vortex line, just to help protect this trailer for you guys. But if you're interested in this trailer, again, like I said, it is someone is going through financing currently on it. If that ends up falling through, then this trailer will be available. Um, stock number for this trailer is 5N211341. Again, it's a Logan Coach, Bullseye, three horse gooseneck with that closet tack setup. It is a 2022 model. If you are interested in this trailer or a four horse, we have a four horse like this. We have some other Logan options for you guys. We also have some Cimarron options for you guys. And we do have some trailers in stock versus you know, ordering out like most companies are right now. We actually do have some physically here on our lot available for you guys. So come check them out. If you're interested in this trailer, maybe some other trailers we had. Again, my name's Tanner here at TransWest and Frederick. Our phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.